Hi everyone, welcome to Manna for Thought. Today I want you to think about this. Luke 3, Jesus was tempted in the wilderness by the devil. And at the end of the temptation, this is what Luke says in verse 13. And when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. So what is a season? In the Hebrew language, the word season is moed, meaning an appointed time, place, or meeting. So season in that scripture implies to me that the devil will come back. But at, there are times in our lives when he will depart from us. So what does the Bible say about seasons? Before we talk about that, let's look at seasons in the natural. There are four seasons during the course of the year. There is spring, summer, fall, and winter. Do we dress the same way for all those seasons? No, we do not. We dress for the season that we're in. In the winter season, we're gonna put on maybe a hat, a scarf, or even gloves, depending on how cold it is. And in the summertime, we wear lighter clothing and because we, we wanna be comfortable. But spring, the best time of the year, as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's, it, it's neither too hot nor is it too cold. In the mid-spring, it's when it's, the, it's just perfect. But our attire does change for every season in our natural lives. But what about our spiritual lives? Now let's look at what the Bible says. In Ecclesiastes 3, Solomon outlines 14, 14 pairs of contrasting activities, which shows how our lives are comprised with various seasons. And he starts by saying this, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heavens. And in verse two, he starts outlining those activities by saying a time, a time to be born, a time to die. And ending in verse eight by saying a time of war and a time of peace. So Solomon understood that there are, he outlined and he understood that there are times in our lives when we're in a particular season, it can be good, a good season, it can be a bad season. But what do we do in those bad seasons? This is what Paul told the Ephesians. He said, listen, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that he may be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand. So how can we stand in every season of our lives? We take on the whole armor of God. But what does that look like? We need the belt of truth. We need the breastplate of righteousness. Our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Our helmet of salvation. The sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And do not forget the shield of faith. Because faith is a foundation on which we stand on in our walk with the Lord. Listen, Solomon also outlined in verse 5 of that chapter that a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. We all can attest to that right now because we're not able to, because of COVID-19, we're not able to embrace our families, our friends, our loved ones. We're in a time, we're in a time or a season of refraining from embracing. But according to Solomon, this too will come to an end. But I don't know how you're handling the season that you're in, but I just want to encourage you, put on the whole armor of God. Allow God to help you through wherever you are. I know that we're all affected by COVID-19 in some way, shape, or form, but you don't have to do it by yourself. You might be isolated in your home by yourself, no one to talk to, no family members or anything like that. You might have lost someone. I don't know the season that you're in, but you know the season that you're in and God knows and understands it. So listen, 
What season are you in right now? And are you dressed for that season? I just want to encourage you, take on the whole armor of God and allow him to carry you through whatever season you find yourself. I am Allison Cornelius, and thank you for joining me in Manner for Thought. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Just remember, this channel is not about me. It is about spreading the word of God. So I wanna encourage you, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and do so. Share it with your friends. Leave me comments. If there are things that you want me to talk about, please feel free to let me know. I am here for you and you are here for me. So thank you.